Hi, Assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, today in this video, we are going to see about capacitors. Okay, fine. Uh, before going to this uh, lesson, uh, I need to remind you two things. The first thing is, uh, uh, first atom people, I mean, first side people, uh, they should not think that uh, the government will uh, postpone the adult examination because uh, there is uh, no confidential news about postponing this examination. So, uh, you must be, be prepared uh, to face the examination on August. Uh, if it is delayed, it is fine for you, but you have to think about the people uh, who are writing with you. I mean, second side people, I mean, second atom and third atom people. They have already covered this bus. So, they are not worrying about this, uh, what do you call, this uh, break period. But you people, you guys uh, still did not cover this bus. I mean, um, you need to cover a little bit. So, you have to take care about this one. Okay, fine. Now, we can go to this one, capacitors. I'm going to uh, give you some explanation about capacitors. Okay. Uh, now, I have drawn some diagram here. I'm going to explain you about these capac capacitors. Uh, first of all, we need to know about uh, uh, capacitors. This is, we all know, this is capacitor. Uh, and... Uh, uh, we can say it uh, the unit of this capacitor is uh, uh, parrot. It may be micro parrot, or else uh, it may be uh, nano pico like that. We can name it. So now uh, we know that uh, in any diagram we can put capacitors in two ways. The first one is uh, we can connect capacitors uh, continuously, and also the second one is uh, uh, so the Second one is uh, we can connect capacitors uh, parallel. Uh, this is uh, these are two kinds that we connect capacitors in diagram. Okay, now I'm connecting with this one in bed with the battery. So we we know that this is battery and also we know this is capacit this is capacitors. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to put the capacity of this capacitor. Uh, like C and also this one is uh, uh, I mean this one uh, 4C and it, this is 12 12C ok fine uh, then um, I am going to put this one C and 2C so uh, first of all we need to know how to get the result and capacitor for this uh, diagram so if it is connected in the diagram parallelly we can just uh, uh, if it is connected in the diagram parallelly, we can just edit. That's the thing. We can just edit. So 12 plus 4 all together, we can get the result in uh, this the result in 16 C. This is we know well. And also, uh, if it is connected in the diagram continuously, uh, we can uh, go for this method. We all know 1 upon C equal and equal 1 upon C plus 1 upon 2 C like that. So, we can use this one. Think about the resistance. If it is, uh, uh, instead of uh, placing capacitor in this area, if you put resistance here, uh, we need to do this method. And also, if it is uh, resistant here, we need to go this method. We need to edit, we need to get this method. So, uh, when capacitors are connected in the diagram uh, parallelly, and when capacitors are connected in the diagram continuously, we can get the uh, result and capacity. Okay, fine. Now, uh, we need to get the basic idea of the capacitors. There are some basic idea. So, first of all, I am uh, having the I am having this diagram. Okay, uh, I am putting this one as uh, for microfarad, and as well as I am naming this one uh, twelve voltage. Okay, now uh, we all know that when this point is connected with the earth, we can definitely say that uh, this point has uh, not voltage, we know well. But when it is not connected with the earth, we cannot say that this is not, but we assume that the voltage in this, uh, the voltage in this point is not, we assume that. So, uh, understand the difference between connecting a point with the earth and connecting uh, with the earth and that is already known and if we just do for this one we name it 
S naught. We are assuming this one. Okay. Now, if it is naught, and we all know that this is minus and this is plus. So, uh, when we pass uh, minus to plus, we need to add this voltage. So, naught plus 12 voltage. So, 12. If it is, uh, if we assume that if it is x, then we need to put here 12 plus x. That's a thing. But as I said already, if it is connected with the earth, if it is connected with the earth, so we must put node here. So that's the thing. So I am not connecting this point with the earth. So we can assume that that is node. Okay. Here we do not have any resistance here. We know that if there are any, uh, if there are any instrument or else if there are any resistance in this area, we can see some voltage drop. But in this area, we do not have any uh, equipment or else there are no resistance. So, if it is no, we are assuming that. So, no voltage drop around this area. So, we can put node here as well as this area is 12 voltage. So, in this area is almost 12. So, we can put 12 voltage here. So, this is the basic idea. Now, the capacitor is placed between 12 minus nodes, so the voltage difference between this capacitor is 12. Yeah. So, the voltage di difference between this capacitor is 12. And we know well that this equation we are using Q equals C into V. Q means charges, the charges stored in the capacitor. C means uh, capacity as well as B means not the voltage, the voltage between the capacitor. I mean, we need to find the voltage difference. We need to subtract this point to this point 12 minus naught, so 12. So, here if I want to find the uh, charges that is saved in this capacitor, we just use this, this one. So, C is equal to 4 microfarad. So, we know 10 to the power minus 6. And also the voltage difference between the capacitor is 12. So altogether 48 mm, into 10 to the power 16. We know the unit for the charges that is Coulomb. So this is basic idea. I am giving this. Uh, I am giving this basic idea in order to do this a uh, uh, little bit uh, difficult sum. Okay, fine. Now the next idea about capacitor is the capacitor is placed with the uh, battery. We know that battery usually gives current. So, we can put I here, the notation, the letter. So, current I is passing through this area, but we need to think that if it is a resi resistance, if it is a resistance, the current will pass. But, think of a uh, capacitor, capacitor will not uh, allow current to pass. So, here we cannot put I here because the current will not pass through this area. So, when a, uh, when a capacitor is uh, connected uh, with, uh, with the diagram, we need to think the path. So, we need to think this path is like that goes and the capacitor will not allow the current to pass through this way. So, we cannot put I here. But instead of putting capacitor here, if we put resistance, so current will pass it. Okay, we know that. So here we can see that in this path, look up, look up uh, this diagram. If you pass, if you put I here, I cannot go. Think of this one, can, 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 but can't. But think of this one, can, can, completely, it can, uh, it, it will pass the current. But think of the path and think of the capacitor and think of the diagram completely. I do not say that capacitor won't. Uh, capacitor uh, do not think that uh, when uh, when a capacitor is connected with the diagram it won't uh, it won't allow current like that do not think because here also capacitors are connected but uh, think of the path here it will go to this way we cannot go through this way we cannot go through this way so that's the thing i'm saying Okay, fine. Now, basic calculation we have done Q equals C into T. So, Q mean I said charges C equal the capacity. V mean the voltage difference between the capacitor. Okay, fine. Now, think of this one. I am connecting a resistance here. Now, this area will not get the current. The current will not go through this way. But think of this area. This is resistance. So, current will pass through this way. We know this is not and also this is not here also no any voltage prop here. Okay, now we can name it not. 